Hi, I'm Christy, and it's great to be in class again, and I'm excited about this class, and I loved the first novel, The Scent of Rain and Lightning. Um, I have kind of a unique opportunity in that I was able to meet Nancy Picard when I was the public relations director at the Salina Public Library, and she was on her book tour, and she was promoting um, The Virgin of Small Plains, and it was the Kansas Reads Book of the Year, so I was able to meet her at that time, and gosh, I wish I'd known I was going to read this book, and I don't even think it existed then, but... Um, it would have been great to ask her so many questions that I have. The first question that came to mind that I don't think anybody's addressed yet is, how come Hugh J. didn't see Merrill's boots? He mentioned that he came in the back door and there were no other boots or anybody else's shoes there, but yet it said that Merrill came in in his sock feet. So I was confused about that. Um, so that was one question that I had. I don't know if anybody else caught that or not. Looking back and reading some of the... Um, the genre definitions, I think that this book probably qualifies as a whodunit, but I also think that there was a little bit of cozy built in there because of all of the um, the time given to the female characters in the book. We obviously have talked about Annabelle a lot this week. We've talked about Lori Jo and of course Jody um, and even Valentine. So I think that all of the female characters in this book really gave it an interesting feel um, and Jody almost being the investigator herself, kind of feeling out whether Billy did it or didn't do it, and if he didn't do it, who did it, and and working with her grandmother and her aunt and all of these other females in the book. So I just thought I would throw that in and see what anybody else thought about that. Um, I really liked the way they she looked at all of the um, the relationships in the book. And obviously it's a small town, and those of you not from Kansas... Um, Kansas isn't all like that, so don't worry. But I think it's really interesting the way everybody was interwoven. And even when it's not a small town, um, when it's a place like New York City, which we're getting into in Lush Life, somehow people cross paths and they all get interwoven. And I find that so interesting. And I love the layering, the way the brothers interacted with Lori Joe even before... Um, she married Hugh J, and Bobby was interested in her, but then it was Meryl who was having an affair with her and who killed her, and I think that the way the lenders were interwoven in everyone's lives, and they were really the glue of that community, um, it's just a really interesting way that she was able to put all of that together. Um, and I really liked the relationship between Red and Jody, and then the way Red was also involved with Billy, and then when Billy came back and killed Red, that whole relationship I found very fascinating. Um, we talked a little bit about, in the discussion forums, who we thought did it before we realized it was Meryl. And a lot of us thought maybe Lori Jo was the one who killed um, Hugh J before we realized who it was. No one's really talked about how they brought up the men that had thrown the cigarette out of the car, but I never... I never thought that, so um, she tried to steer us off course that way, but it didn't work. Um, I also thought that the scene where Jody went to um, Red's house to check on him when he hadn't shown up for work, I don't know what anyone else was anticipating, but that's when it kind of all came together for me, and I thought, uh-oh, she shouldn't be doing that, something's wrong there, um, and my gut instinct kicked in, but it took until then, which was really strange. Usually I pick up on things quicker, but um, anyway, it was a great week. I loved this book. I loved it so much more than the next book that we're getting into. Um, I'm finding it really hard to connect with the characters in this this new book, so I'm very thankful for um, the introduction to the class being this book that we all seem to really enjoy, and I'm looking forward to the next Nancy Picard book and getting back into these deeper characters and um, and that that way. So, Anyway, thanks for a great week. This was really long. Sorry. First one. They'll get quicker. Talk to you later.